Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at the 2020 East-West Shrine Bowl with North Texas quarterback Mason Fine. I appreciate you taking time, man. I appreciate you wanting to interview me and uh, looking forward to it. Well, I've been a fan of your game since you stepped foot on campus because of how well you throw the football. I like how you work touchdown to check down. Mm -hmm. You don't try to go for the easy one. You're going for the six <laughs> points. So where does that mindset come from, and how do you stay aggressive while also protecting the football? Because you don't throw a lot right. of interceptions. Yeah, I think it comes with confidence throughout the preparation throughout the week, uh, knowing that on Saturday you're willing to take those shots, you're willing to be aggressive because you've you've practiced and you prepare the right way throughout the week, and you've hit that in practice against the same defense, the same look that we've seen, and, and we're confident we're going to make it 10 times out of 10. So that's why we're aggressive, and we see a look that uh, we're comfortable with. You know, we're going to audible into it, and, and we're going to take our shots. I think it's very underrated that you played in Conference USA because of the defenses that you face. Can you explain how tough it was to play in Conference USA? Because people may knock group of five, but Conference right. USA has some really good dudes on defense. Yeah, I would say, you know, nationally, Conference USA is probably underrated. Uh, Against playing our non-conference and teams, Conference USA is defense is always the mo the most coachable, well-disciplined uh, defense that that I play against. You know, you can never get them out of position. You can never uh, get those safeties' eyes in the wrong place. Their corners always have great technique, or always are always trying to uh, trick you. And they're playing chess games really smart, and uh, all of them play hard. And uh, I mean, it. it there's great defense all around Conference USA for that reason why, and just having great coaches on both sides. Now, you guys were well coached at North Texas. How would you say North Texas and, and what you got out of that program with Coach Luttrell and kind of helped develop you into a pro player, and, and how beneficial was it for you to go to North Texas? All right, I think, you know, by our playbook, people might just kind of write it off. But I mean, I'm, I'm in the whiteboard and I'm in the, I'm in the film room, and I, I'm, I'm using the same verbiage these guys, these NFL coaches are using in, in the film room. And so I've really, the same stuff Coach Luttrell and ROC was using, and it's, 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 it's just making sense right now. And uh, they really, even though it was an air raid type of system, they were using the same NFL verbiage, and we had a lot of the same concepts uh, moving into this, this week. So it's exciting to see that and know that I'm picking up on things uh, very quickly, processing information, and out there playing fast and not thinking too much. One thing that we see at Football Game Plan is size is not a skill. Right. If you're good enough, you're big enough. And now in this era of what we're knowing, the quarterback position, they're finally starting to come around to guys that can throw can make throws, doesn't matter if you're 6'5 or what have you. Mm -hmm. How much do you appreciate the fact that guys that are of your same stature have gone in the league and have balled out? Uh, it just opens up more people's eyes and are willing to accept that you know you don't have to be your prototypical six foot two guy. And I've been very grateful and blessed that those guys with my same uh, body size have, have went on and had great success. And uh, you know that just opens up doors for for kids like me. And growing up, uh, you know you, you get told that and you'll never play at the NFL level based on your size. Well, when I see guys out there like Drew Brees and Russell Wilson, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, it's like, hey, that gives me hope. If, if they can do it, I can do it. You look at your your game and and you know how well you play. A lot of people are critics of the quarterback position. They just sit back and say, oh, he should have did this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. Here's your chance to get the myth out the way. What's one of the more underrated elements of quarterback play that people need to understand? That <laughs> you can prepare for a, a play and over and over and over, and I'm telling you, in a game, that play that you drew up on the whiteboard that you practiced, it probably is going to work out perfect only about 10% of the time. The other 90% of the time, you just it's all about anticipation. The defense can do whatever they do. They might not be in the perfect setup, and a guy might do something a little bit different. Uh, so you got to be willing to adjust on the fly and be willing to adapt more than what people think. Yeah, our coach used to always say, man, those X's and O's on the board actually move in the game. So yeah, what yeah. we drew up may not work in the game. Right, but exactly. Mason, outstanding talent, outstanding career, and we wish you the best luck moving forward. Thank uh, you for taking time. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I really enjoyed it. Thank you.